So I think we'll all agree, chipping should be incredibly easy. And I find myself just shortly 18th in two here at Heron's Reach. But how often do golfers get into this position and then with a really straightforward shot, they either hit it nowhere in front of them or they kind of really overcompensate having done that a couple of times. And it's that thin one that was still accelerating as it went past the flag. So you can see there, you could be in a perfect position for two and yet all of a sudden now par is a great score or if it's a par five or maybe bogey on a par four. And this can be an absolute card wrecker. So what I'm gonna talk about is a really simple technique that's gonna help you set up in the same way each time and make a simple swing that's gonna give you a really good solid strike on the ball and get it, if not stone dead or in the hole every time, at least closer that you're giving yourself a chance to make a score. So hopefully what you've noticed there is that was just incredibly simple, wasn't it? It wasn't like I was trying to do anything too fancy. I was just able to set up, focus on what I needed to do and absolutely execute a really decent little shot, horrible first bounce, but all of a sudden getting me much closer. So let's talk about initially the challenge that I see for a lot of golfers is I think straight away they chop and change with the clubs and I don't mind you having options to do, but they usually just try different clubs because one's not working and that's never the case. If you do what you need to do, you can hit a good chip shot with pretty much any club in the bag. So the next thing I hear about with chipping is golfers talk a lot about the feel that they need to really hit down and make sure that they get ball first. But you could see from the interaction with the turf there, I mean, it's still incredibly soft in the UK. And if you've got the club coming down into the ball like that, basically we're taking the leading edge and leading it almost like a knife into the ground and it's just gonna keep going down. So the beauty is I've got my 56 degree wedge, 12 degrees bounce. So the, you can see the back edge is quite a lot lower than the front edge. And as long as I use the bounce of the club, it doesn't really dig into the ground. Even if I try and hit the ground quite hard, it doesn't really take too much turf. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk about getting the setup very, very consistent every time. So we're gonna put the ball in the middle of the stance. Now for me, I like my stance to be nice and narrow. I think that feels like a power swing. This feels more like finesse. And I'm gonna move closer to the ball. So rather than stand how I would with a sand wedge normally, I'm gonna move a bit closer so it feels a little bit more like a putting stroke. Now, what I need to do though is I need to make sure the low point of my swing is ahead of the ball. So I'm going to move my sternum forward so it's very much in front of the golf ball and then make my swing. And we can see straight away there, if I'm gonna to touch the ground, I'm gonna to touch ahead of the golf ball. Now for me personally, and this isn't essential for everyone, I also like to feel that where I might stand fairly square to put, I'm just gonna open my stance slightly and swing on the line my feet have created. That just gets a little bit more steepness into my swing and helps with my strike. But once I'm set up, it's all about what I'm trying to achieve at impact. So I think my setup hasn't really changed over the years, but we can see from face on there, as I move forward, there's a tiny bit of shaft lean, but the Butt end of the club's pointing pretty much at my belt buckle. Now the mistake I tend to make is that as I go back, that's fine, and I drag that forward, and we can see that's now pointing out in front of me. And I do hit some good shots like that, but if I set up and get that much more shaft lean, it kind of drives it a lot lower, which there might be a time and a place for that, but kind of feel lots of bits of me move around when I hit that shot. So really what I'm looking for is how I set myself at address. I'm looking to try and get back to impact with that shaft lean, if not identical, incredibly similar to that. So I'm gonna feel that that butt end points at my belt buckle. And I don't mind for me that that feels almost like the club head as I get past is overtaking rather than staying behind the hands. And I'm not saying this is the only way you can chip. I think this is an incredibly simple method that allows you, if not, if you don't quite get one, it still gets much closer to the flag. And remember, 
if you can chip closer, you will hold more putts. You know, stats will back that up. 50% of putts from eight foot, PGA Tour players miss. Now these are the best putters in the world and they're missing half their putts from eight feet. So if you're watching, you probably are lower than that from eight feet. So we need you chipping closer and closer. So we're gonna set up as we've discussed, get that sternum forward and then try and get that shaft lean back at impact how it was at address. I didn't quite get that one, but that one's probably still got eight feet, maybe a little bit more than that. But you can see the difference between that one that I didn't get and the one that went just in front of me, massively different. So let's go again. And I would always go through my routine, which two practice swings, get the feel for the length of swing I need, and then get myself in. That's a much better strike. Just managed to fly that one a little bit further up the green. Still a little bit soft, so I could maybe even try and fly that one a little bit further. And your choice of club can very much be, you could chip with the same club every time if you want, or you might see something a little bit lower that chases up, just use the same technique with less loft. And if you need something a bit higher, you could just chip with a little bit more loft. So again, let's go through that routine, set up two practice swings. For me, looking at my landing point, to tell me how big a swing I'm going to make. And then once I'm set, not bad. I'm being picky, it was a touch lower off the face than I would like, but again, a great result, maybe two and a half feet from the hole and a great chance to get up and down. So, not done it yet, but let's try and chip one in. So I think I know where I need to land this. I haven't seen those first few from the That was a horrible first bounce. But again, you can see the interaction with the turf really good. Definitely using the club better. And I've demonstrated there, don't have to strike it perfectly with this technique to get the ball nearer the hole. And like I said before, if you can chip it nearer the hole, you're gonna get your scores down, maybe get away with some of those loose approach shots. And it's all about getting those scores down. And if we can win, well, that's all the better.